Hi everyone, my name is Karen Ellis and I own the Art House Studio here in Cambridge, Ontario. When somebody purchases a Brother Scan and Cut here from me at the studio, I make sure that to tell them that they need to test the materials before they scan it every time. It saves a whole lot of frustration uh, because if you don't do it, you can have one or two things happen. You can cut your mats and you don't want to do that. Or you don't cut through your paper or material at all and then that's just frustrating because who wants to do that again? So always test the material that you're wanting to cut and this video is going to show you how you can do that. Now the demonstration is using paper but you can of course use fabric or you know foam or cork or veneer or insert that material there. But uh, I want you to play around with it, but always, always, always test the material so that you know what setting your blades should be at. Hope that your video is helpful and that you enjoy it. Thanks for joining me here and look for more skin and cut videos to come on this channel. Okay, so we're going to be using the standard blade that came with your scan and cut machine for this test because uh, we're just using uh, a fairly thin piece of a scrapbook and card stock here. So we're going to make sure that it's dialed up and then dialed right back down to like a one or a two. Let's just do it on one and put it into the holder here and secure it in place with the bar in front. Okay. All right, the machine is on and we are on the home page. So I'm going to select pattern. And the test button is literally spelled out for you. Test right here. So you're just going to push that and select one of three test uh, patterns that you can use. I usually select the triangle. Um, that's just the one I default to all the time. No particular reason, just whatever works for you. And um, I just use the setting that's already in the machine to say set, because I don't particularly care about the size of this test piece. Now it automatically goes into the top left hand corner of your screen that represents the mat in which you're going to cut on. I have a piece of orange paper on my mat that's already loaded into the machine, uh, but it's not right in that corner. So I am going to select the scanning feature here so that I can scan the mat to see exactly where my paper is on it. So there it is here on the screen and I'm going to use my little stylus tool that also comes with the machine and I'm going to drag that onto the cardstock as it appears on the mat. Select OK and we're ready to cut the test pattern. Okay. At this stage I don't even bother taking the whole mat out of the machine. I will just lift the piece of cardstock to see if it punched through. And as you can see, it did not. The paper was too thick for that one blade setting. So I'm going to keep that right down on there. Just use, maybe I'll use my spatula tool just to reapply it to the mat. And I am now going to change the blade by, by taking it out and moving it to number two. Put it back in secure it in place and then we're going to go back up to the screen and we're done cutting so I'm going to say OK and I am going to press this return arrow to get back to the previous screen where my paper was scanned because remember I did not take it out or off of the scanning mat when I was finished the last time and I do that on purpose because if I have to move that triangle setting I can do so without having to rescan where the paper was. Select OK once you've done that. Cut and play and we'll try this setting. All right, so let's lift the corner. Did it go through? Yes, it did. It cut. Nice, perfect cut. We can use the number two setting on this paper for our project.